Hello everyone, welcome to the next lesson of our Spring Security course. So in this lesson, I'm going to talk about the method level security. And uh, this is a very common feature or a common thing which will be used once you get into the real enterprise applications. Uh, so what does this mean? Uh, so not every time you want to secure a class or a URL, uh, right? Uh, so th that's fine that, okay, my this URL or my account page is, uh, you cannot access it within the, uh, without doing a login, right? That's a very common scenario on a normal customer facing application. But once you get into a more complicated applications, for example, intranet applications, or application where there is a lot of hierarchy within the customers, right? A customer, there might be some admin, there will be some managers, there will be some normal users, right? Uh, within those things, uh, so this global authentication or authorization might not work. Uh, we may have to come up uh, with uh, use cases or we will face a situation where within a class I can have a five different methods right but I want to basically if you are a admin user uh, so let's take one example a simple example right I have a customer class uh, or a customer service class and this customer service uh, class has a three different method one which can delete a customer one which can read the customer data other which can update the customer profile. So I don't want all of my users to be able to delete a customer, right? I only want, let's say, if you are an admin or you are with a certain roles or a privileges, you should be able to delete a customer. But I want everyone else able to read the uh, customer information. And then if you are an admin or you are a, let's say you are a manager or some, some with certain privileges, you should be able to update the customer profile. And since these are three methods are a part of the same class, right? I cannot have the same thing, uh, a URL based uh, authorization mechanism in place. So for all sort of uh, these things, Spring has a built in mechanism where not only you can secure the URLs uh, or a pages, but within the class, you can have a method level security metadata. So that means you can tell Spring security that, hey, for this method, if a user is a, with the role of admin, let them do this, uh, let them execute this method. But if any other user, throw them out, uh, give them a, a, a not authorized or some kind of an error message that we can customize, right? So in this lesson, we are going to focus on this specific capability. And I think for 90% of the enterprise applications and the rest applications, you will come up with a situation where you have to add these uh, security metadata onto the method level. All right. All right. So the first thing what we have to do is we have to tell Spring Security that uh, uh, I want to use those, those method level uh, security things, right? Uh, you don't have to add any kind of a dependencies. What we have done so far is more than sufficient for us. The only thing is we have to enable this feature. So that means we have to tell Spring Security. And the way we tell Spring Security is adding a annotation. So you can use either you can create a separate class and, and annotate it, or you can annotate the existing class. That's up to you. Uh, my preference is because it's a method level security configuration. I want to separate it out. All right. Okay. So enable global method security. This is the annotation which you have to add. Uh, what it is going to do is it is going to allow a method level annotations on our Spring Security applications. Uh, and again, it's basically we are passing three different parameters. I am setting true for all the cases. Probably you want to set true only for one, let's say secured application or some other one. It's up to you. Uh, the secured enable parameter, the first one, right? Uh, the This one. This basically tells the Spring Security that I want to use a, at the rate of secured annotations on my classes. Okay, this is the one of the early annotation that is available with the Spring Security, uh, and this is still being used in a lot of the cases. The only drawback I can think of uh, using this secured annotation is you won't be able to use the Spring EL expression. So if you want to use the power of the EL or the expression language, Spring expression language, probably uh, at the rate of secured annotation is not the right uh, annotation. So we will talk about that uh, in the same lesson. 
uh, JSR 250 it's the as the name says is a uh, it's a specification so if you want to use those annotations uh, with the sp and spring security uh, support those one so you have to tell spring security that you want to use those one the last one is a pre post enable uh, uh, so that what does that mean is uh, it means that uh, in some certain cases probably you want to uh, run this annotation uh, for example post uh, you, there is a post uh, secured annotation right so what does it mean is it first execute your method and before sending out the response back to the client it you can run that annotation and do any kind of a post post processing and all sort of things all right so with this your application is ready to use the spring security annotation on a method level so what we are going to do now is we will create a simple class and add some annotations one by one we are going to talk about all these three different parameters and uh, what kind of uh, features they bring into the, your application but again choice is all yours there is no hard and fast rule that okay you should always use the secured enable annotation or you should not use the secured annotations uh, there is no hard and fast rules if you want to keep it simple probably you won't use a secured uh, annotation because it's fulfilling your need okay so i don't have any kind of a rule and i can't share those with you all right so that being said let's create a simple class and see how we can use these different annotations this is a simple rest controller with no nothing special about it right the only thing is there are two methods one is our simple hello get uh, with the get uh, mapping and another one will have a same get mapping but the interesting thing is the secured uh, annotation right so this was the first annotation what we talked about when we were enabling that feature all right all right uh, so what does this mean is uh, i'm saying that this method is secured so secured in annotation tells that okay this is a secured method that means uh, only users with a certain roles are allowed to access this method other than that uh, there will be a uh, access denied exception or a login page will be sent back to the customers okay it depends upon if you are going to the rest application probably you will tell them uh, not or not authorized if you are into the web application probably you will uh, give them a login page okay all right uh, again uh, you can pause pass as many as uh, rules as you want at some array all right uh, and again, uh, as I said, right, uh, it tells that only these certain users are allowed to access uh, these uh, these things. Okay. Now with this thing, let's do a, a simple test. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to access this method uh, using, uh, let's say, uh, any HTTP client, and I will not be logged in. So technically, either I'm going to get a 401 uh, uh, access denied. Sorry or I'm going to get a login page for that one. All right, so this is my simple call, right? Let's execute this one. All right, sorry, my bad, it should be 800. I'm going to remove this one, okay? Let's run it again. Okay, so if I open this one, right? I got a 200 response, but if you look closely, this is my login method. And because this is a web application, right? I'm not talking about the HTTP because there will be, if you are a REST uh, REST client, it you will have a simple JSON response or something like that, right? So technically what you have got is the login page, right? Uh, what does that mean? That means is uh, when I try to access this method, uh, this method, right? Since I was not logged in, so I got an access denied exception. And if you remember from our previous lessons, if that is the case, you will be going to a login page. That's the, oh, the that is based upon the configuration, right? So, all right. So similarly, if you want, you can use the pre and post uh, uh, authorized annotation, right? So it's similar to what we are using. The only thing is pre authorized. Okay, this is the annotation. And the one thing with this pre authorization authorized uh, annotation is that you have the the power to use the spring expression language okay uh, the spring expressions right uh, so what does that mean is you can use anything that you are using as an el for example what i can i can say that okay uh, if it has a has role okay what is the role i'm talking about let's say uh, role underscore customer 
and then I can also use all the operators for example or as rule sorry as rule let's say rule underscore admin and all sort of things okay uh, so we can always use uh, those kind of things what happened to this all right uh, the the other interesting part uh, with this one is uh, that uh, uh, spring security does not uh, kind of put any restriction where you cannot use more than one secured annotation so you cannot use the same annotation twice that means you cannot say at the rate of secured uh, annotation secured rule customer and then again at the rate of secured as a role user you can't do that you cannot use the same annotation twice but you can annotate uh, your method with a multiple security annotations for example i can have at the date secured i can have a pre-authorized i can have a jsr uh, uh, annotation added on top of it right so there is uh, no uh, issue with those kind of things all right uh, Apart from that, uh, once you enable that security feature, let's say you want to secure the class. Uh, I, I just want to secure this class, uh, for example, user. So normally that will happen onto your services, service classes or on your other strategy classes and other sort of things. But if you want, instead of putting out into individual methods, for example, if you think that, okay, every method is accessible, uh, is have the same kind of a rule, uh, for example, all the method within this class are should be accessible only to role customers so rather than putting this annotation on the individual methods you can always go ahead and put this annotation onto the class level so that means all the method within the, that class will have the same level of uh, uh, security rules uh, for you so that's given idea we have already talked about the rules uh, what are the role what are the privileges so i'm not going to talk about those again but the whole idea was to uh, to give you an overview how you can leverage the spring security onto the method uh, method level i hope that give you a clarity and will definitely going to help you once you start implementing your real world uh, applications and if you like these tutorials please don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, please share with your friends or whoever is uh, reading about the spring security just uh, share with them uh, thanks for watching this lesson